Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Minecraft, but something a little different. So, um, yeah, today I decided, um, instead of doing a Minecraft episode, I wanted to do something that <clears throat> I haven't done yet, which was, uh, to show off my other world, my other survival world that, um, I guess I haven't shown anything of yet. So this is my original survival world, you know, the first world I ever had. I had another world, but I, it got deleted at some point, and that was my last world. But I basically haven't been working on any of them except for the LP one. I haven't done much work, so I was going to show you guys um, a little bit of this world. So uh, I'll show you it in order of how I made things. So... First thing I did in this world, this was back when um, beds weren't invented, and you could. My spawn point was right about over here, and you didn't want to travel too far from your spawn point because you know you couldn't move your spawn point. So um, that was my original spawn point, and this was a tiny little island that I turned into my house. And uh, this is the Crystal Island mining tunnel because you know there's glass everywhere. Discontinued. This was my original house, and it used to be made out of dirt, then it got upgraded to stone, and then finally glass with water on top. And it was, um, you know, simply just a mine shaft down into the earth. Um, oh wow, that, that thing's facing the wrong way. This was back when they used to face weird directions and whatnot. Um, yeah, not much good left here. Anyway, and this was also back when I didn't have a good computer, so... I couldn't see as far as I can, you know, you can obviously see this big structure up ahead, but what I used to be able to see was this, or actually, probably something more like this, and they might have made it better, but basically what I could see from here was I could just barely see a little mountain off in the very distance where all this box and stuff is, and, uh... I decided I wanted to go make my house on that mountain. I figured it'd be a really cool idea. So, I made a little trip over there. I thought it would take a while, but it actually, you know, it only takes about a minute. Not very long. And, it's uh, this giant mountain that in this world I called my home. Oh yeah, this little desert used to be my cactus growing farm. Um, but I cut it all down. Um, yeah. This was back, I think, before they had biomes and worlds, so all worlds had, um, either, you know, normal world or you had snow world. And I remember I was super proud. We didn't even have half slabs back then, so I couldn't, you know, smooth this out. I just had, a uh, stairs... This was so cool. The reason I wanted to come here originally be was because of this giant lava fall. I thought it looked really cool. And I made this mountain into my house. So uh, here was the first project I ever worked on, um, which was to make a quote-unquote disco floor, which never really was a disco floor, but I had to remove... Because I think I, this used to be, like, grass or dirt or something. And I had to remove three layers. I had to put sand on the bottom. Then mix it with lava and water, which that took a while because, you know, the lava. And then I had to cover the whole thing in glass. But I was so proud of myself after that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And this is my main part of the house. And uh, I guess I'll show you a little tour around. Here, right for bedroom up for wheat farm. Here, let's go show off the bedroom. This used to only be lit with torches, with these redstone torches, until one day a mob spawned in here and it scared me to death, so I filled it with regular torches. Um, this was also before we had beds in-game, so I made my own. Um, I never ever got a record, though, you know, because records were always hard to get, although, you know, you can do the thing with a creeper, I just never knew how to. Um, but... I really liked this room. I still do. I think it's really cool. Anyway, on to our next thing. Oh yeah, I used to not have half slabs everywhere, but one day I saw someone have had like half slabs as the flooring in their video, and I thought it looked so cool. And I was able to lower the floor one like half a block and give myself more breathing room. 
So that was pretty cool. Um, oh, and then this was my weird way of sorting things. So because this isn't on um, normal ground, it's on half slab, it doesn't quite level out, but uh, it works out pretty cool. You know, I have my sorting system that everyone's used to. Oh, okay. Let me point this out. So if you remember way, way back long ago, if you were ever around during that time, they said they were going to turn all torches into lanterns. So what I did is I filled these chests with torches, like to the brim, because I knew that they were going to convert, and I was going to be happy to have so many lanterns. And then they didn't. So I just had a chest left over. Uh, we got some gravel... Um, down here, and I just basically made a big storage hallway instead of like a singular room. And, ooh, there's lava dripping here. This didn't used to happen. We didn't used to have, you know, the dripping lava. The vault. So this is where I stored all my um, important things. Namely my my almost stack of diamonds. I hoarded the crap out of the stuff because I used to be really scared back then and I never made anything. Um, yeah, iron. Well, actually, it used to be called steel back then, before they had tooltips. Redstone. Um, we got glowstone dust. Yeah. I really liked this part of the area. Um, it's so weird exploring this with all the new Minecraft stuff, and with all the new stuff I know. Like, look, you can stack signs now. You never used to be able to do that before. Um, we have railroad tracks. Hidden back there. We got sand. Um, oh, this is where my, let's see, cobblestone deep storage. I put signs everywhere in here expecting someday someone to see these. This is where I just stored, you know, the obscene amount of cobblestone that everyone ends up getting, although I never quite got there before I quit with the world. Um, when beta 1. Point, what was it, beta? Sometime along the way, I ended up giving up this world. I think it's when Beta 1.8 came out, but um, I may have stopped playing it earlier than that. I'm not sure. Um, more cobblestone. We have dyes. Never used them ever. Because that was when you couldn't even make extra flowers. Like flowers, you know, you had to find them. Storage area B. Gosh, I... I had so much storage down here because I expected just to have tons of stuff and not know what to do with it. And I was going to even go farther this way, but I ran out of wood, or at the time I did, and I realized I probably didn't need all the space I had. <clears throat> anyway, um, back up here. So, oh, here is my furnace room. You know, just a simple, normal furnace room. I would never used coal because for some reason I identified coal as being like rare you know you could make more wood but you can't make more coal you know not including charcoal because charcoal wasn't back then um yeah so that's down for storage we're back in our main room random stuff had a bunch of tnt back before you could stack food you know back before 1.8 um this is my incinerator see that's my storage again um here let's let me show you my tree farm So this was my tree farm, and originally what this used to be... Okay, so I never used to look at wikis or anything, right? Oh, wow. They actually converted these. I never I never planted any of these uh, different types of trees in here. Do you see this? That's a jungle sapling. I never planted these different types. They all used to just be um, the standard oak ones like this. Yeah, that's that's weird. I guess any saplings that were in the ground... They converted them to just a random assortment of saplings. Cool. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. So, um, this this used to be, I think, 15 blocks tall or something? An obscene amount of height, because what I did, I didn't know anything about a wiki or anything like that. What I did was, I uh, just looked for the tallest tree I could find, because I wanted to make sure I could grow trees and they wouldn't not work. So I made, I found one that was 15 blocks tall, and I made a 15 block tall glass cube. Because I wanted to be able to safely <laughs> harvest um, trees without any fear of getting caught. That was the whole purpose of this house, was 
to be completely safe from monsters all the time because I was scared of them, like to death. So this originally used to be just a big dirt floor and I'd just plant saplings everywhere. But after a while, I saw a really cool design um, by the guy Ethos Lab, um, who I very much admire, so I probably have said something about him before. But anyway, he had a design that was similar to this, where it was sunken down, and then for the tree planting areas, they had these little boxes, and I really liked that design. So uh, I used that, and I don't know why I have water here. I had water there for some reason at some point, but I didn't have it. Anyway, and so what I found was that after watching some of his videos, I found you didn't actually need to uh, have your like room to max tree height, and that was even harder to get because you had to get all these tiny little logs. So I found I could cut this room in half. So this used to be the roof of the whole place, but I added an extra floor in, and I was able to um, cut the room in half and make double the trees. So... That was pretty cool. I was really excited about that. Um, yeah, so if you have random questions like, why did I do that? That's because I either didn't know or, you know, because I didn't know any better. Um, oh, this was my wheat farm. Um, and, oh, okay. So, give you a little background. This used to be my portal room back when, you know, portals were coming out and everyone was really uppity about it. They were so excited, like, ooh, portals. So, I did what everyone else did, I made a portal room, and my portal actually used to go right here, and everywhere that there's water coming out, it was replaced with lava, and, uh, but the problem that I had was that, um, was that I found, you know, you, that portal made those annoying sounds, and from 15 or so blocks away, you could hear it, so you could hear it throughout a large portion of my house, and it was super annoying, so, uh, I got rid of that. Oh, okay. Um, and I just replaced it with water, and at some point towards the end of the life of this place, I made a wheat farm, which, uh, you know, gives a very good supply of wheat and, you know, no auto farming. It was just a design that I had seen on the internet that looked really cool. It was um, just a raised platform design with water and then a glass block above it, and I really liked that design, and there's not one here. I think I broke it by accident, but... Um, I really liked this design a lot, and this was back when, you know, you could only crouch walk on them to not break them. If you walk normally, you'd break them, so they kind of needed to be separated. Um, and same thing with this upper floor. I actually have some storage spots for the wheat farm, and this one I like a little bit better. I didn't use the cube design as much. I used big, long rows, and that design worked pretty well. Um, oh, and my favorite thing was... We didn't really have a... I don't think we had glowstone back then, or... Actually, we may have... Yeah, we did have glowstone, but I didn't have any. I think that's what it was. So, I just used wooden blocks and attached torches to them to make simple chandeliers, and... I really like that design. Lots and lots of delicious wheat. Which I never used, because I always played in peaceful mode, because I... Like I said, I was a baby. And I only turned it on once I had my giant uber house, and... Oh! Another fun fact, this little door here is here. First off, the reason it's like this weird gap opening was because I realized that like if there was a button, it was kind of hard to use sometimes. So I just used a lever that could be activated from both sides, which knowing a little bit more about redstone, I could probably make something a little nicer. But um, that was my way of doing it. And the reason I had this was because back when this was a portal room, I was worried about, you know, what everyone else was worried about was gas coming through the portal, because apparently there was a super rare chance they could. And so I put that in there because I did not want a gas coming through my portal or attacking me or anything. Okay, so we're back down here, and um, let me show you the quarry. So this goes down, and this is... The reason it's like this is because I wanted um, sunlight to be able to get all the way down here. I'd watched... Um, the YouTuber X, I think his name was, and he had those adventures in Minecraft like super long time ago. If you remember that, you are awesome. And he made something similar to this. Like, he made mul multiple levels with glass floors, and it was really cool. Um, oh, this is my lava storage, which I could use in case I needed more lava for any reason. This was my emergency shower, because I always caught myself on fire, and 
back then, I, you, you know, you didn't regen health, so you wanted to get out of the fire as quick as possible. Um, let's see what's down here. Oh, down here is my official portal, which I used to get to the nether. Oh, welcome to hell. Um, I can't remember, did I do anything with the nether? Oh, I did. Here, let me show you what I did with the nether. Alright, so this is my nether outpost main hub. I just had some basic supplies. Ooh, I have a pick here. I'm surprised I almost never used the diamond pick. Um, this was my access to the outside. Ooh, hello there. Oh, crap. Let's, let's get back inside. I used to be deathly afraid of these guys. I wouldn't ever go outside. So I made tunnels everywhere. Um, let's see. I think this is my sand. Forgive me, it's been, you know, at least a year since I've even played this map. Um, you know, I did a quick one over really quick before I came in to make sure, you know, I wasn't going to die. But, uh... Well, this is my nether outpost, too. And if you go in here, I believe this is, yes, this is my sand gathering place because I didn't want to, you know, pull up sand from my area because, you know, you ruin your local area if you use sand. So I pulled sand off of this hill and off of everywhere around here. Leave me alone, creeper. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just sat here doing this number, gathering sand. And that's how I got all of my sand. And leave me alone. And, because what I had done at one point, actually, I'll show you once we get back. I'd actually over, you know, like I'd taken sand from my local area and it looked really bad and I felt kind of bad. So I did some terraforming, which I'll show you. But after that point, I had to find, you know, a desert to get sand from. Um, let's see if there's anything else cool. I know I know there's got to be other cool things. And I really wish I could show you my other world, but it's gone. And I'm kind of bummed out myself. I put a lot of work into that world. But uh, it's okay. I can show you off more of this world. I, I think I spent a good year and a half on this world. Quite a bit of time, actually. Um... You know, it was from way back ago to a while. Oh, and I had some lovely glass windows so that you could see all the fun of the nether, which I couldn't back then because I didn't have a good computer, so my render distance was on low and I didn't see anything. And like I said, I was scared to death, so I played on peaceful until I built safety walkways everywhere. <laughs> It's like a trip down memory lane. I haven't been down here in forever. And then, oh, okay, so this whole number with all this cobblestone and um, netherrack is I was installing um, roof lighting, which I might have wanted to put one higher into the roof, but what I did was I put glass down and then I put lava in it, and then the lava started pouring everywhere and it wouldn't go away and I couldn't move. So I had to put down all this to get around the room. But, let's see, what is over here? If this doesn't take me the wrong way, which the portals were messed up back when I quit playing the world. Yeah, it took me the wrong way. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was one of the portals that I had to destroy. Um, let me see if I can find it really quick, actually. I had a little tiny base over here I was attempting to set up at some point, but it never quite got off the ground. If I can find it. Oh, I think I see it. Maybe. Yeah, that looks like it. Yep, that's it. Oh, I never wore armor, by the way, because, uh, you know, I never played on anything but peaceful. So this was supposed to be my treehouse base, and this was before we had jungle trees, so... And before we had shears, I believe. So if you wanted a tree house, you had to grow a tree. And um, it never quite worked right, but it was really cool. So the idea was that I wanted to be able to, you know, go between multiple trees and have, you know, my little house up here. I have one block of glowstone. And what I did was I grew a bunch of trees and then I tried to, you know, dig them out and use them in whatever, you know, sort of rotted away I replaced with wood. Um, 
Oh, that door's messed up. But it never quite worked out right. Like, I like how this looks. And I really liked how this looked. I just couldn't get enough trees here. But uh, I thought it was super cool how I had all this ice everywhere. And then I had this little tiny island um, right here. And I covered it over. Ooh. Ow, that hurt. Run away. Yeah, but I thought that was really cool back in the time. And maybe I'll work off of this someday. Um, I think my design for wanting to build that tree house in our world, you know, back forever ago, might have been partially to do with my not-so-good success with this. But, um... I don't know. I really liked the idea, and maybe we'll go and try something like that. <clears throat> anyway, back to the nether. Okay, yeah. It, it, the, this was back when the portals were a little buggy, and they would make new portals, and they wouldn't work quite right. All sorts of fun little stuff that you didn't want to deal with. Um, actually, I had an idea. I might make myself some armor to get through here so I don't die. Because, like I said, peaceful mode definitely made me into a wuss, and I never wore any armor. So, let's... Let's get some stuff suited up. Let's see. Okay, this should work right. Done, done, done. Okay, 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 and legs. Excellent, we are armored up and good to go. Okay. Um... And back back here, you know, a long time ago. Oh, hello there. You do quite a bit of damage, don't you? Oh, hold on, hold on. You guys are just being a bit too loud. Chill down. Okay. Um. So back, you know, back here, I used a lot of cobblestone. You know, I didn't really think much of aesthetics, and you know, basically, I was the beginning Minecraft guy. You know, just like everyone else. Um, not much into aesthetics, not much into lighting either, because I played on Peaceful, so, you know, I never worried about lighting too much. We didn't have the smooth lighting, so everything doesn't look quite the same. Um, so yeah, I can show you a little bit lower, I think. So, I think I had caves going off in different directions, and I sort of made hubs where I could. And, if I go even lower... Oh, I think this is where I stopped. Yeah. This is where I stopped making hubs. I was going to make another hub here. But I w went to explore this cave and never quite um, made a hub for it. Yeah, but I remember working on this. Anyway, um, so our next place we're going to go is to my quarry, which is way, way up at the top. Well, that's how you reach it. Sorry, I've got so much stuff to show. I'm, this video goes a bit long. It's because I've never shown this off before and I want to show everything off. And if you don't like it, you know, feel free to stop watching it. But if you are enjoying it, I would appreciate, um, you know, I guess telling me you liked it. Oh, okay, so this little weird thing with the cobblestone was supposed to be for railroad tracks. I actually had some at some point on it, but. Uh, it never quite worked out right. Um, so this is a staircase that goes down into my tree farm, just for your information. And uh, this is the roof of my wheat farm. And over here, where this big glass thing is, is my quarry. So this was made, you know, this little bridge was made, of course, to keep all enemies out. That's was to keep all the enemies out, you know, before spiders could climb and all sorts of fun stuff. I'm pretty sure if I waited right here, I'd get murdered by something. Um, and down here was where I was had my quarry storage, which... Ooh, diamond. I've long since um, emptied most of it out. But this was back when, you know, 
making a ginormous hole in the world was a cool thing. So let me show you it from up here. Actually, I think... I think I have a way to... Yeah, here we go. So if you see here, you can actually see that I just built a giant hole into the ground and have a pillar in the middle and lighting specifically so I wouldn't get mobs. And let's go the fun way down, actually. I'm kind of worried about the fun way down. If it's going to kill me or not. I'll drop some water down it. There's like a one deep block of water, which I think used to be enough to save you, and then it wasn't, and then it was, and then it wasn't. So uh, I don't really trust it anymore. I'll just fall normally and hopefully not drown. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Put up torches as we fall. There's also probably a really good slime drop spawner down here. Yeah. You know, this was also back when slimes wouldn't spawn like normally. Like, I think they took slime spawning out or it was extremely super rare, so, you know, seeing something like this would have been amazing because slimes didn't, you know, exist back then. And it looks like some endermen have been moving some grass blocks down here. Thank you, you silly little troublemakers. Always ruining my day. Um, I patched up entrances with dirt and with cobblestone so I could make a mostly smooth path. You know, well, well, what happened to my ladder? Okay, that was weird. I don't know why my ladder's missing. Um, okay, that'll work. Let's deal with that. Um, yeah, but my goal was, you know, obviously to look for diamonds, look for everything, and, you know, I just ended up with a ton of useless cobblestone. But, um, it's a very neat thing to look at from way up above. And, uh, oh, okay, so, if you remember, I don't know if any of you guys remember back when we had, like, all the biome changes, but it made all of our current worlds weird, like, you'd end up with the trees with the weird leaf mixture, like, we got jungle and spruce, and I think that's oak, and... It's probably some other one in there somewhere. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I've got those nice trees for show. Um, I think it converted random trees to different things. And if you look actually under one deep, there's cobblestone everywhere. And that's because I had mined all of this area out for getting um, sand. And then I felt really bad about it afterwards, of course. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? I can show you this giant box that we have sticking out of here. So my goal was to basically turn this mountain, not only like fill the mountain with things, but to have items sticking out of it, like in outrageous ways, like this is right here. And, you know, put supports under it. Like this was, oh, okay, so up here is my cactus farm, which... I've since learned is an extremely inefficient design I've done, and I looked on the internet forever, and I couldn't find a good cactus farm. Like, no one knew how to make it at the time, apparently. So I had to kind of come up with my own, and, um, it, you know, it's only got, like, 50% accuracy. This was supposed to be a uh, reed farm, which I temporarily removed the reeds because I wanted to get grass on here. Um, so I spread grass, you know, back before you could silk touch grass on. Um, I can show you the cactus farm, which for some reason I never plugged this hole. Like, this hole has always been open, like, forever. Okay, so this was my design, and if you look, I'm trying to hold still as much as possible. Okay, right about there. If you look right around here or so, the idea was that it would grow up too, and then it would hit this block, which I... You know, never even thought about suspending. Like, it had to be attached to the roof for some reason. And then your cactus has a 50, like a 50% chance of going that way or that way. And a 50% chance of hitting one of these walls and bouncing down. So it's only about 50% good that it works. Um, 
You know, so it was a terrible design, but it did work. And that was the cool thing to me. And, yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say about it other than that. And I also liked it because you could see it from inside my wheat farm over here. Um, took me forever to build this thing because I was really terrible at building things. I still am, you know. You might have noticed that I'm not great at building things. Um, really love some ender pearls so I could show you guys around a bit better. But that's okay. Um, I got food and feet, so we're good to go. Um, a few more things I wanted to show off. So, okay, so right here, this is an old style minecart track booster, which I'll make one really quick, at least to show off the design for those of you who don't know about what these things used to be. So the idea was, before we had um, powered rail carts, we had these things that were called minecart boosters, and I think we they still go by the same name, but um, the idea behind these is that you would set these up in a way that... Let's see, getting rid of useless stuff. You would set these up in a way where you would just pile a bunch of minecarts onto a single track, like a single tiny track like this. And if you put a bunch on there, they would all of a sudden, for no reason, just bug out and start spinning really fast. So I don't think they'll even do anymore. Oh, okay, kind of like that. So if you see that, they're bugging out and spinning really fast. That's what they would do. And the more you put on, I think the better it would work. And I'm pretty sure these don't even work at all anymore. I think they removed something about them that makes them work. But you would... Oh, actually, it kind of is working. Okay. So... Okay, but not not quite the way I was wanting it. I was wanting it to run the other way. Oh well. Anyway, it would launch you off and it would carry you way down the track. You know, and that's how it used to be. Um, I guess you can take a nice little look over my world. You know, I always explored, you know, around the area, but there was never really too much to uh, that I looked around at. And, you know, because I kind of just stayed in my local area. Um for a large portion of the time, so that's why I, you know, didn't get around too much, um, and I built a lot of floating paths. Oh, okay. So if you see this cobblestone line, the idea was, I had this ludicrous idea, I was going to make this giant, <laughs> this giant border, this is part of my obsession with staying away from the monsters, I was going to make a giant border, huge border thing, where, uh, where I would make a, I think, three thick wall of cobblestone that was going to be something ludicrous like 20 blocks tall around a huge area. And then I was going to light up everything, I was going to be safe, never have to worry about monsters, you know, that thing. And, uh, that's how, you know, my whole thought process was, stay away from the monsters. And so... That you know that never came to fruitation, and that was probably one of the projects I was working on towards the end of the whole thing. To give you an idea of you know how much work I put into it, maybe. Um, let's see, oh, over here. So over here, this never came to fruitation either. But this was supposed to be my redstone testing. Or, yeah, my redstone testing facility slash TNT testing facility, and I don't have either of which on me. And I used all the clay I had to build this, by the way. But it was supposed to be on a treetop. Had a portal, which apparently is too close <clears throat> to that one. So, you know, that never worked either. But I was able to do a nice little experiment here one day, which was I was attempting to make a house that would not catch on fire, because back when, back a long time ago, you know, when we didn't have fire nerfed, it was an extremely dangerous thing, and if your house was caught on fire, it was most certain that it would completely burn down. So, I came up, well, I didn't really come up, I had this idea that I had thought about, you know, what if you sandwiched a layer of water into your house, you know, somehow? 
So I'll rebuild it a little bit for you. Um, so the idea was that you have your house and you have one thick layer of water on all sides of said house. Um, and then, let's see, there we go. And then if it caught on fire, like you wouldn't catch the whole thing on fire. Like the water would put it out after a certain amount of time. And that, that was the idea behind the experiment. Now, what ended up happening, it didn't quite work out, um, as you would imagine. So, trying to get it all cleaned up so you can sort of see what it's supposed to be. Instead of working correctly, it would burn down like either the outer or the inner layer and then stop. But it didn't quite work, per se. And I'm almost done putting this together. Just give me a second. So if the fire started on the outside, you know, it would never really go to the inside. But it would... Oh, crap. I'm getting hit with arrows. Hmm. Problem. Um, so it kind of worked, but it kind of didn't. And it made, like, it made for a really big um, blueprint of the outside of the house and a small inside which wasn't terribly useful, like, use so much materials making the thing. Anyway, you can probably see what I'm getting at now. Let me... Okay. And then this thing was covered up on the top. So, just imagine the whole thing covered up now. And this whole outer layer of water was sandwiched there and would act as... A water like extinguisher which it or a fire extinguisher which it kind of did but it kind of didn't it never really worked out quite well um, and I don't have actually I do have one gravel let me show you this is this is a lot of fun I <laughs> I had so much fun with this thing I remember okay and fire is not even as strong as it used to be so it might go out real quick Let's see if it does. In fact, we'll just add a little extra, just to make it exciting. Come on, spread fire. Yeah, fire's nowhere near as strong as it used to be. It would have engulfed half of this wall by now. Come on. Give me some flames. Make me scared. Ow, ow, ow. That's not scary. That's just annoying. Okay. And this is what would result. So you'd kind of get the fire out, but not quite. Not before burning a significant portion of your building. Ow. Okay. Anyway, let's get out of here. <laughs> Run. Okay. One last thing I'll show you. Um, Here, I'll make a jump cut really quick. It's way over by my base, so give me just a second. Alright, so we're back in the front of my house again, and, um, so I was going to show off a few things. First off, I was going to show off a mob spawner, and I think, I can't remember who I learned this from, um, I can't remember. Basically, this was a mob grinder that, um, you know, it's just like any normal mob grinder would grind up enemies and then give you their drops, which I am going to die. Am I getting hit by an enderman? Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm getting hit by an Enderman. I'm gonna die. Unless I get in the water. Yes! Safety! Okay. That was exciting. And I'm still looking for where my mob grinder was. Oh, that's like life right there. Exciting. Um, give me a second while I locate it. Okay, I found it. It's right here. I went a little too far. So, this is my mob grinder, which was very rudimentally made. Um, I was supposed to have a portal here, you know, but then I realized that the portals don't work that close. Well, they kind of half work, and of course, you know, I fuel everything with wood. Um, 
various items. And I believe this mob spawner should still kind of work. Not quite as good as it used to, but still should kind of work. So, um, I doubt you can see, but basically the idea is this is a very large room that just goes that way, and it goes that way, and that way, and that way, in four directions, and within 24 blocks, I believe, there are water streams that are specifically made to push the, uh, the mobs in closer with a little central water stream just to keep everything moving straight. This was back before they would stop moving at a certain range, and, uh... Oh, I have some more TNT in here, I didn't even know. Basically, you know, you just sit here, and it was a drowning trap. They would drown. The uh, spiders would get caught in some cactuses. It was a really great trap, and I would sit there AFK and get stuff. Um, never much liked the AFK traps, you know, but I didn't know any better. Anyway... That's that, and then I have one final thing to show you, so another jump cut, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back here in front of the house again, and uh, actually there's two things I forgot. So, the first thing is, near my house I made, at some point, I decided, well, first off, this is just some obsidian. I had been putting down lava to get obsidian, you know, in case I wanted it for something. But what I had made over here is one of those underground um, rooms or, you know, glass things. Like, if you remember in my SMP server, I had made an underwater city. This is something kind of like it. Um, keep in mind... The deepest oceans ever got were, you know, six, seven blocks deep, so it was really hard to work with it, but all things considered, I did pretty good, which I need to fix this. This was back when you could do that kind of thing. Um, I had grass down here, a super awesome fountain, which apparently I didn't light well enough, and I was waiting for the grass to continue growing. Um, I was really proud of this thing. This thing took me weeks of work. And that tree never grew either. I never figured it out. I think I don't have quite enough height in here. Oh, don't please don't explode in my glass rooms. Um, but I was super proud of this place. Like, this is so hard to work with. Um, anyway, I have one more thing to show you, so give me one more second. Okay, so, um, the very, very last thing I wanted to show you guys was, uh, okay, so I'm near my, you know, glass little thing again. And I can't... I think I can remember it. There was somewhere near here I had a little secret base. I believe it's down here. Yep, yep, I can see it. So the idea was that, um, you know, if ever for some reason invaders came, you know, this is more suited to an SMP type of thing, but I could have a secret exit, which would lead to a secret base that had everything I would need to survive and I'd never have to return to the surface. And... Ladders are broken still. This was, you know, back before you needed special fancy ladders. So, ta-da, this is everything that I would need. And it was one of these circular rooms that you see a lot when caving, um, but it was super special for some reason. So this is my underground t tree facility, and I was actually super proud. Um, if you see there's grass down here, back before we had silk touch, it was near impossible to get grass down anywhere. You had to build big things everywhere, and it was so important that I never wanted to lose it. So I had a special piece of grass over here with a torch, and I had it covered up with wool so it would be safe. Because I remember that took me probably like three days of work to get it down there because it takes forever to grow. Um, this is my mine shaft going down. You know, in case I needed materials from the earth. Um, oh, I had, this is a really sneaky system. So, this the way this system works is um, you can grow trees. You don't get leaves from them, or at least not many. But you can grow trees and almost no space at all. Now, you don't get many saplings back from this method. 
but you could like plant a tree here and then it would actually grow and be just like a solid thing of wood and uh that was cool um this led to a cave i think i had my storage area here which oh that's part of the chest I had some items in here, again, before you could stack food. I actually, I think this was the first time I ever used coal, was when I put things down here. Um, and what was this for? Oh, this was more storage. Or this was going to be more storage, but this is basically like a secret base, you know, within my world that I could always run to if I needed to, and it was a fun little project. Um, but anyway, that's all I got to show you. Um... I really did enjoy this world. I hope you enjoyed me showing it off. And if it was a bit long, I'm sorry. Um, I'll stitch it together the best I can. Cut out some boring bits if possible. And hopefully um, it turns out that you enjoyed it. And um, enjoyed seeing what I did before our lovely um, days together. And I really wish I could have shown you my world before this. But unfortunately it got lost and... I put so much work into the world too, so it's a little sad. Anyway, um, but thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. And, um, you know, maybe I can, if I can ever recover that world, I may have it saved somewhere on a drive. I have to look for it, but maybe I might be able to show that off one day. Um, you know, lots of fun stuff. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.